we're going to cover the number one question I get from Mustang owners out there. Those that watch this channel know that the 2022 Mustangs, all Coyotes, lost 10 horsepower along the way from their 2021 counterparts. I've covered that in a Mach 1. I get a lot of questions from 2022 GT owners, and I haven't been able to answer them up to this point because I haven't seen a 2022 GT. That changed today. Now, before we go any further, I need you to understand that this is emissions control equipment. There may be laws or regulations in your state or the area you reside in that will tell you what, you're, what I'm about to show you is illegal. So be forewarned on that, understand what you're doing, and maybe check out the laws in the, the area you reside in before going any further. So the 2022 Mustang GT also saw a 10 horsepower drop reported from Ford. It's also due to a hydrocarbon trap. This setup is a little different on the closed airbox setup than it is on mine with the open airbox setup. This is the upper lid of a 2022 Mustang GT airbox. The hydrocarbon trap is located between these two grills and it can be removed by depressing these five tabs and slightly lifting and spinning the upper grill to the side. The upper grill only rotates slightly on this plastic rivet and it's just enough to pull the trap. Once the trap is removed, the grill can be popped back in place. Here's the thing, these additional grills do not exist in 21 and back as 550s. Also, the grills themselves are restricting airflow. So you can see that trap's pretty simple to pull. I don't think it's gonna have the same horsepower return results. And here's why, there's a plastic mesh in there. That mesh is used to retain or hold that filter in place. That's not present on a 2021 Mustang. That open air box is just that, it's open. It's direct shot through the air filter into the throttle body. I'm thinking if I owned a 2022 or an up and coming 2023 GT, I'd look for a 2021 or back lid. There's a lot of folks out there that have put cold air intakes on those older model Mustangs. There's got to be a lot of those closed air boxes just laying around in people's garages. I think if you ask around and say, hey, do you have that closed air box that you removed to put that cold air intake on? And if so, would you consider selling it? I think the response from a lot of people would be, yes, I would. And it should be relatively inexpensive. For those that are out there that have the 2022 GTs and you do this process, you remove that trap, let me know what your results are. I'm really interested to see how it goes. I don't expect that any of you are going to dyno it. But in my experience, the seat of the pants return is there as well. So you should be able to feel that additional horsepower. I think my friend Martin, who brought his GT over, He's going to see even a better response because he's got headers on the car. And he's got high flow cats. So the air coming in being greater, it's going to be able to get out quicker as well. So that's what I have. Hey, thanks out there for those of you who have subscribed. It's great to be appreciated. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Until next time, we'll see you.